Hey, my name is Conrad, and today I'm going to talk about the influence of video games in the military. I'm going to talk about the training aspect, how video games are used as a recruiting tool, and also how video games are used to treat PTSD, which is post-traumatic stress disorder. Starting off with the training, um, the military uses many first-person shooters that can recreate previous missions and prepare soldiers for future missions, but they so they. Be become familiar with the geographic area, positioning of structures, uh, positioning of the enemy, and they're able to go through all the steps necessary to accomplish the mission. So the military has actually been working on a new system, a new virtual simulator called Dismounted Soldier Training System, and it takes training of infantry soldiers to a whole different level. The Dismounted Soldier Training System is a revolutionary approach for increasing the quality of instruction and combat preparedness for soldiers. The training system offers a limitless number of virtual scenarios that recreate environments and combat situations in lifelike detail. The soldier's entire body is utilized to perform complex motion maneuvers via mimicking, such as leaning around or under an obstacle or issuing hand signals. All of the soldiers' natural movements are translated to their virtual avatar within the game engine. The dismounted soldier training system integrates wearable technology for each trainee, including a helmet-mounted display that integrates a head tracker, stereo speakers, and microphone for voice and radio communications. A light backpack contains a CPU for processing the display of the 3D virtual environment within the HMD. Sensors track body positions that are mapped precisely to the virtual environment. Instrumented weapons with optic sights and scopes are also used. This next simulator recreates the battlefield for soldiers inside a Humvee. Not only does it save the military a bunch of money, but it also provides more uh, helpful training to the soldiers since they're able to recreate the battlefield using uh, A projectors that recreate a 360 view of the environment around the vehicle. The military has a tool to help lessen costs. Virtual trainers. These systems simulate a combat theater to prepare service members for deployment, while saving the environment money and lives. Normally, when units come here to train, if they're going to use real vehicles, they have to send people up a day in advance. You know, cost money to send them up here ahead of time. They don't have to coordinate for any fuel, no fuel cost to the unit. They don't have to coordinate with any other unit for any kind of support. So we don't need helicopters to fly in to do medevac evacuations. We can simulate that here. Uh, there's no money being spent on ammunition, uh, explosives, or those types of things because we can simulate that here. So we're saving all that money. So the next simulator is a flight simulator, which is definitely one of my favorite simulators. Uh, what you see here in front of you is a F-16 simulator with an actual F-16 cockpit. There's nine projectors working in tandem to present a 180 degree field of view to the pilot. So this is roughly 120 computers uh, working seamlessly to give you the visual scene with a high fidelity physics based environment with real world explosions. So this simulator is actually flying an actual operational flight program. So the same navigation and weapon system software operating in the, in the actual F-16 which provides an immersed environment where the aircraft reacts in the same way as it does for the pilot in the real world. These simulators are actually fully capable of being networked, so you can fly as one or with a squadron to perform large scale exercises, like for example mid air refueling. Like you see here, visually, these flight simulators provide outstanding clarity and sharpness adapt to 1 16th pixel accuracy. They are also a less expensive way to provide pilots with a highly realistic yet safe environment to better prepare them for the missions. With images projected at about four times that of standard high definition, a pilot's visual acuity is as close to 2020 as it's ever been without leaving the ground. Boeing's latest enhancement to its constant resolution visual system brings flight simulation a step closer to reality for pilots. Next, I'm going to talk about how the military uses video games as a tool for recruiting. So what you see here in front of you is actually our trailer for America's Army 3, which is the third installment of the 
game that the military actually developed as a recruiting tool for the military and has proven to be pretty successful. All three installments of the game are available to be downloaded for free. Lastly, I'm going to talk about how virtually recreating events can help military members cope with their post-traumatic stress disorder. Using these simulators, military members are able to recreate events which contributed to their post-traumatic stress disorder. With the help of clinicians in controlled settings, soldiers are able to confront traumatic memories in a process called exposure therapy. In summary, I talked about how video games influence the military in terms of training, recruiting, and treatment of PTSD. This concludes my presentation. Thank you for watching.